The stars are actually going through his neck. Kung Fury. Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Play Kung Fury. I'm Jordan. This is my friend Trevor. Um, we were trying to record some Outlast earlier, but the capture completely fucked up. <laughs> so I figured, well, we can try and salvage this. So we're just going to play something else, something that is at least fun and challenging. It's not spooky or anything like that. So there's that. So I've actually already played a shit ton of this. So I'm going to have Trevor play a little bit of this. Um, you ever played uh, Kong Fury at all? I have not. This is, I didn't even know this existed. Yeah. Uh, yeah so what it is, is uh, as you're slowly learning, you want to wait for the enemies to get relatively close to you because part of it is uh, you're building up a, uh, a combo bonus yeah. as you play, and it's just the two buttons. Uh, there's the right and the left. I think you can uh, actually use uh, the other buttons too if you want to. And then... Um, Part of the thrill comes is just more enemies come in and different enemies take more hits. So, uh, really, it's really more based off of a game I played quite a few years ago called, uh, no. I think, Five Finger Death Punch. Okay, that did not. That didn't take long at all. <laughs> yeah. Ooh! Ow! Slightly really? crushed myself. <laughs> really gotta get used to it. Yeah. Um, it does take a while to get used to. Yeah, get in the, gotta find the rhythm. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and, like, the whole story and characters was something that was added, uh, uh, later. Actually, uh, um, as a free DLC, thankfully. Uh, where each of them has, like, you know, different traits and abilities. Like, uh, like a lot of them have less or more health. And then, you know, kind of different fighting styles, I guess, kind of. It's kind of hard to explain. Yeah. But yeah. Really just different forms of challenge. Really. Obviously, the worst part uh, is that when you miss, you know, it leaves you vulnerable, yeah. too. As you're probably yeah. noticing. Yeah, the robot vending machines are the worst part. Just because they just take so many damn hits. But you'll actually notice too, that like while you're uh, hitting people, uh, that time will kind of slow down a little bit. Yeah. Here, I'll take a, a shot. A little bit of there. Oh, yeah, it's just funny really yeah. and trying to keep remembering that it's like, okay, this t this person takes this, this person takes that. And, yeah. yeah. And being patient, too. Yeah, that too. Yeah. And, like, really, though, like, you don't really have to worry about patience, because uh, it's not like, you know, like, your attacks are timed or anything like that. Yeah. It's really, you know, just a matter of it just being, uh, getting really hectic uh, with so many enemies on screen. Yeah. There we go. The hardest part really is just uh, is trying to time out, of course, your hits. Yeah, and balance it with what's coming from the left and the right. Yeah. Oh, shit. That was an amateur mistake right there. There's another one. Oh, god damn it. I'm gonna die. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> See? Yeah. Yeah, so even for a pro like me uh, uh, and uh, if you want to try the other characters uh, I, I think if you yeah I asked for Sarah Cop <laughs> uh, he kind of has a gimmick where he apparently shoots everybody in the dick yep I've seen the movie oh okay yeah I, I tried watching the movie I really couldn't get into it it was just you know uh, it was just too cheesy for, for me uh, I, I've gotten fun I think I've watched it three times now <laughs> And Triceracop is totally me. I mean, playing online video games, that is, you know, battlef you know Battlefield, mm -hmm. Battlegrounds, whatnot. I am a, 
I'm one of those people that's like, ass shot, dick shot. This, this is so my character. It's not even funny. Dude, you don't shoot people in the dick. What's wrong with you? I have to wonder um, if his character is more for um, beginners, you know, just because of the fact you know, that he has five health and yeah, a little more range, a little more safety bubble there. To yeah. With. Well, I mean, he's only has I think about as much range um, as Kong Fury does. Of course, Kong Fury is more up close. And then, of course, uh, you have. Uh, I forget her name, uh, the uh, barbarian yeah. girl, where uh, her like her like fifth or fourth attack um, is a chain gun that will um, annihilate um, everybody um, on one side of the screen. Yeah, which is a good ability to have, um, but her health is only two, so. Yes. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Oh, you were doing a lot better with him. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll take a turn. Go for it. Uh, oh, oh, pff. oh well. I was gonna try and uh, do one of the other characters, but oh, Bar well. Barbariana, I think. Yeah. Um, or okay. the robot character. Or... Yeah. <laughs> um, this game also has a story mode to it too, which has you know boss fights and stuff like that. Oh, I don't know how I messed that up, but okay. Game. He was trying to get cheap on me now, huh? <laughs> Playing dirty. <laughs> there can be a bit of a, um, a, um, a bit of an odd delay at times. Uh, yeah. I think, you know, just because of all the enemies that start showing up. Yeah, you get, I don't know why the hell I did that. Yeah, you get spatial, spatial issues, but... Yeah. Shit. <laughs> messy. Stop shooting me in the dick! <laughs> all the dick shots. <laughs> yeah. All the dick and bad shots in the world, bruh. Shit. There we go. Oh, shit. Ah, shit. Yep. I'm dead. Yep. Alright. Your turn. Alright. Let's see. Let's see what else. Hacker Man. Barbariana. I did get her right. Ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. 12. Hers is still up close. Um. Yeah, it's her fourth or like fifth attack. Uh, where, uh. Um, and usually, uh, you know, you want to try and save it because. It, yeah, you know, just because it'll yep. just annihilate everything on one side, and it's great. You know, if you have you know, like a couple of robots on one side, yep, and then you can just take them out with one shot. You know, and so like this game, you know, has you know a lot of great ideas to it. It's you know, it's quite a bit of fun. Yeah, you know, so at least it has a lot of different variety to it. Yeah, the only hard part is, uh. You know, like the one nice challenge, at least for me, is like trying to see, you know, how good I can get. Like I've gotten to rank two yeah. on here, but I but 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 I've never been able to get rank one. So And that's okay. I mean I don't have to prove myself to be the best. <laughs> You're the best round no, no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was a lot quicker. <laughs> yeah. The, the timing, the spacing there with the minigun is though, a lot different. Yeah. Hackman's a little bit harder. Just because apparently he has to lock on to... Huh. First, so... He, he kinda has to charge up. But at least it pushes everything back. Yeah, and keeps that safety ball, but he's really gonna work with it.
But he seems to kill everything in one shot, so. Yeah, and that's, and that's nice, as long as you keep him, keep him off you. And obviously, as long as if you keep it charged up. Yeah. He's kind of got to figure them out, is the, is the hard part. Yeah. And yeah, pretty much has range in the screen, but look at it. Okay, so some characters can still take the multiple hits. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, and like the stronger his charge is, uh, the stronger the shot is too. Yeah, so this is obviously a character for people that really want challenge yeah. to it. But I'm already getting enough challenge out of this. Game. What the fuck? Fuck off, lady. <laughs> God, get off me. No, my ass is not for touching. <laughs> okay, well, maybe it is, but... I am married, damn it. <laughs> and here come the ninjas. Ninja. Ah. Get away from me. Stop touching me. <laughs> Dude, you don't shoot people in the dick. <laughs> Ballerina ninja. Yeah. Shit. Oh. There we go. Finally. Yeah, not too bad though. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm still only at rank two though. <laughs> yep, still the favorite. Um, so I forget. Like, what console? Uh. Um, if any, like, do you have? I only have a 360, and it's been sitting collecting dust for at least a year. Oh, uh, okay. I have too many consoles, as, as it is. I'm still planning on getting more. Like, I want to get the PS4 Pro just because of supposedly uh, the, you know, being able to save the games I'm on a separate hard drive, yeah. which would be nice. Of course, I don't know I mean, if that function is even true though about the ps4 pro yeah i mean i my, my big platform was playing uh the uh playstation 2 way back when that was my yeah i um, mean i only uh you know got back into retro gaming probably 10 years ago when i you know really got the inkling of like man i miss my nintendo and my super nintendo and then went out and you know and actually got some and and was playing them again and just started collecting Probably five, six years ago, or so. You know, so that certainly you know ate a lot into my account. Yeah. Uh, as for PC gaming, I couldn't really get into it too much, you know, just because you know, uh, eventually my computer would just not be able to handle even the smallest game. Specifically, if I wanted to try and record anything, yeah. like if I tried to record Volgar the Viking with Fraps, uh. All of a sudden, like a couple of minutes yeah. after recording, it would just like yeah. it would just slow to a crawl and just be like, okay, well I can't do this. Yeah, so. I, I'm definitely a PC gamer. I mean, yeah, that's that's what I do. I build them. So yeah, I, I build the systems that I use. I'm gonna try. And uh, Barbarina. Him, Barbariana. Barbariana. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. I I I, I mean. PC gamer, but even then, yeah. I, I don't get a whole lot of time to do it. I don't think. I mean, lately I've been a lot into uh, Player Unknown Battlegrounds and huge, yeah, huge stream game right now. Um, a lot of streamers playing it. I sadly don't have the internet for streaming. I, mean, I could certainly maybe try to get into it, but uh, yeah, honestly, on top of what I already paid for this and that, mm, not sure I should swing it. But shit, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, I'd love to stream it. I'm not the most amazing player. I mean, I have, do have chicken dinner under my belt, but eh, it only says so much about player. Yeah. I mean, I would, you know, certainly like to try streaming. I, I just don't know how well I could do it. Is the only problem. Fuck. Yeah, it's. Mostly, you know, because I am a console gamer, and I just don't know how I would properly set up. Uh, you know, being able to record on camera, record on mic, and then, you know, trying and to record game capture, the game. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, certain platforms certainly make it 
pretty easy. I mean, I've tried. Using, yeah. I've, I mean, I tried using Twitch. Is what I tried using, and I, I did all right. I, I mean, it, it makes it pretty easy. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if this is available on Steam. It probably is on Maybe. Steam. I mean, it has to be. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Of course. You know, like I, I always try to. Uh, you know, I, you know, like one thing I'll always uh, try to make known in my let's plays or even in my reviews, like, oh, like it's on this console, it's on this, and da da da. You know, so then like if you don't have it, you can at least get it on this. So, of course, that's not very often with a small indie game. Of course, I don't know how small uh, this was. Uh, if it's based off of, um, Fun Fury, yeah, a YouTube movie, yeah. Which is still fairly small, but it was really popular. Yeah, it though. was. So, yeah. First, I'm, you know, for all I know, I'm probably the only person in the world, you know, who couldn't get into it. <laughs> uh, yet, you know, I love the game. Yeah. Um, of course, I mean, the game is already based off of an idea that I already really like. Yeah. Uh, who haven't I played? Well, we've probably played everybody. Yeah. Uh, right. I'll do Kung Fury again. Half nine thousand, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. The half nine. Mein Leben. Tank you. <laughs> so ah, shit, I forgot to teleport. Rookie mistake, bruh. Oh yeah, uh, so I saw uh, Baby Driver uh, uh, the other night. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Sure. It was really good. I've heard a lot of good things about it. So yeah, I'm... well, and um, it's directed um, by Edgar Wright, so it certainly has that same style yeah. of his, uh, which I didn't even realize um, until we were you know watching the movie and the credits rolled, and, and it was like, hey, uh, directed by Edgar Wright. Oh, oh, okay, cool. And, yeah, and oh, it was so good, it was so good. Uh, like all, like all of the m music uh, usage like syncs up with like all the action and everything because of course it does. Yeah. Because he's been doing that since like Shaun of the Dead, so. Yeah. I haven't watched that movie in a while. No, nor have I. Oh, it's been a long time since I've watched it. Um, it's a great movie. I loved it. Uh, it took me a while though to get into Hot Fuzz. Though, for some reason, I mean, I've only seen the ending of Hot Fuzz. Uh, um, yeah, but after it. probably like the second time I watched it, I was like, yeah, you know, this is, a, you know, also um, a really good movie. Uh, it's obviously a tad different, where it's, a, you know, it's a parody of a buddy cop movie. Yeah. Uh, that's, you know, it's like, well, this is supposed to be the more realistic side. No, nah, it's gonna get, you know, ridiculous with its plot. I didn't like. Uh, uh, the end of the world one. Um, I didn't like that one as much. Uh, I don't know if his directing name is still on for Ant Man, though. Um, I know he got pulled off of it at yeah. one point. Uh, and I haven't fully seen Scott Pilgrim versus the World. Of course, I know that that one kind of kind of has a mixed opinion for a lot of people. Yeah, like some people like it, other people love it, and then some people di didn't like it all that much. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not really a big fan uh, I'm of what's his face. Uh, the guy that's in it. I forget his name. Mostly because I don't like him because he always typically plays uh, himself. He always plays the same character. Yeah. Uh, the one time I actually really liked him uh, and thought he was funny was in. Uh, this is the end. Uh, I'm the movie with uh, Seth Rogen um, and like all their buddies. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, and he was, you know, supposedly playing himself, only a like insane version of himself who is a drug addict, uh, who, who's a sex fiend and a complete and utter asshole. And it was like <laughs> that was actually really funny. So I'm gonna try a Hackman here again. Because yeah, once you actually figure him out, it's really not that hard. 
Really, it's guys just charge up just first. Charge up and make and the then shot. Just, and then just go nuts. So I imagine then the movie, you know, does have uh, like all these different characters in it, and you know, the I'm the Hackman character and such. Yep. Yep. Has Hackman, has Fury, has Triceratops, Barbariana, Thor. <laughs> Thor's in it. Yep. Oh yeah, because like he does. Uh, make an appearance but I think uh, like just as a narrator I'm in the game uh, not, not like the actor that plays Thor but I mean representation of Thor in the movie right yeah. Well, well, well yeah obviously he's like yeah uh, we totally got Chris Hemsworth in this movie <laughs> I mean we couldn't really afford him but yeah. you know we have no budget for this <laughs> it's a fucking YouTube movie I mean what do you expect I'm dead yeah. already uh, uh oh um I don't know why I'm bringing this up. Uh, uh, maybe just because uh, the fact that we mentioned Chris Hemsworth. Uh, did you ever watch uh, the Ghostbusters 2016 nope. movie? I have not. Uh, yeah. Um, well, you know, there was like controversy all oh, yeah. around it. Like, oh, yes. Like, oh, uh, like all female cast. Bleh. Like, that's not Ghostbusters to me. Of course, trailers really didn't sell people either, really all that much. And trailer is supposed to sell you on a movie um and i felt like being controversial one night and i rented it uh via ps4 and i did a vlog on it it's like yeah the movie's really meh it was very meh was very forgettable uh yeah it's got some funny part parts to it but that's about it and other than that the movie's kind of meh and i was like congratulations aaron you decided to get overly ridiculous about a meh movie and uh i think it bombed too in the box office i think i can't remember yeah shame too oh well because i mean it really could have been great but yeah oh no Okay, so what do you think of Kong Fury? Still, I mean, I didn't know this game was around. It's kind of... Oh, well, there you go. Yep. I you did. know now. And, you know, and, and hopefully, if, you know, if you yeah. want to keep looking at it, you can maybe, hopefully, buy it on Steam. If it's on Steam. I can always just check. Yep. Of course, you know, th that, that would require me having to get down and type on the laptop. Yep. Which is in use. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I think we'll go ahead and we'll call it here. Everybody, this has been Let's Play Kong Fury. I'm Jordan. This is my friend Trevor. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please click the like and subscribe button. I really, I really appreciate it. Follow me on Twitter. Check out my channel. Uh, support me on Patreon. Links are, on, are all in the description below. I can't talk. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.